Okay, let's take a look on my solution together. So I'm doing the plus size and then I'm grabbing the latitude and the longitude. And after that, I want to have the area of the uh, area of the city and then the water percentage of the city. Okay, and then uh, I do the color as a water percentage and then I'm using spec a spectral again and then, well, we're going to really see something interesting with the spectra and then S as an area. And after that, I also specify the, uh, the plot of the color limitations from 10 to 60. And remember, we are show using the color to show the water percentage. So I, I don't really see they're going to be uh, high, the water percentage higher than 60%. Well, and after that, I do the similar trick. So I'm using the empty scatter plot to facilitate <laughs> Excuse me to facilitate the size, uh, the the legend of the bubble sizes, and let's see. Okay, so it's not surprising. Most of the cities in California, they are really red. So the percentage of the water area in the city is kind of low, and there are a few blue dots. And for example, like this one. Uh, I didn't I didn't look into the data, but I suspect this should be a kind of a small coastal city like Santa Monica. Well, but that's my guess. I don't have any proof. But what we see is, well, it doesn't matter for the bigger cities or smaller cities in California and they are all very, very dry. The water percentage of the entire city is very low. OK. So the next part, we want to do something even harder. We want to divide the legends to two sections. And sometimes we do have some really good reason to do so. And let's see how can we do that. Uh, and for, the, uh, for this example, I'm using a total of four different sine curves. And after that, I'm grabbing the first two lines and then I'm using the legend one and legend two, uh, sorry, line one and line two and using, I'm showing the legend on the upper red. So for now, uh, for here, I'm only showing the legends for two lines and then we know how to do that. We, are, we did some cherry picking and then we only show the legends for part of the lines. And after that, for the two remaining lines, I want to show the legends on the lower right corner. And now this is really another hack. So well, in Matplotlib, there's no kind of easy way to do that, but that is doable. And then we have to create uh, import another package from the Matplotlib, and that is the legend. And then we create the legend for the rest two lines. And then see what we did. We used the add artist as a hack to show the next two legends okay and well let's take a look on on the next exercise and i don't want to show you the answer key again uh okay so we have the population we have we have the gdp per, cap per capita we have the life expectancy and uh remember that last time we did we increased all the population by uh 50 percent just to make the bubbles a little bit visible because i suspect the uh, the population is in millions or billions Okay, and then we also have the color. And then those are all the information we have. And the question is, we want to add the legend. And for the legend, we are showing two things. The first one is the population. So the population, I want to do 5, 50, and 500. And remember, remember, for the population, we increase by 50%. So to be consistent, you have to do that too. Okay, and then I also want to add a legend for the color of the bubbles because, well, we have to keep on reminding the viewer that if you see a red bubble and that is Asia, if you see a green bubble, that is Europe. How about we just put that to our legend? Okay, so uh, go ahead and do this trick. So we are creating two sets of empty scatter plots to facilitate us to do the legends and eventually you should be able to do a legend like this so go ahead and pause this video uh, and try to fill in the code and to make a visualization like this okay so go ahead and pause your video 
okay and uh, this is my solution okay and for the size of the bubbles well here is the thing you want to remember you want to increase no matter it is 5 or 50 or 500 you want to increase that also by 50 percent because we did that for the size of the bubbles as a population and then we should do that too just to be consistent and well uh, for the color and uh, for the color and the continent well I'm using a different iteration well I know there are five colors there are five continents so how about I just iterate from zero to four and for each of them I'm picking one color using color square bracket I to pick one color and then I'm using the same index to pick the name of the continent so the color uh, and color and the continent they always have the correspondence the relations okay and then eventually I will see the red as Asia the green as the Europe etc okay and after I created those two empty empty scatter, scatter plots and event, eventually I should be able to do with the legend and then and tada I got this legend okay and before we move on here is a challenge for you guys can you do that with two legends for example the size of the bubbles on the upper left uh, upper upper left corner and then the continents on the lower right corner so now you should you want to separate the legend into two parts okay so if you are able to do that show a screenshot on our slack channel and I, I really want to see who's able to do that okay that is the interesting challenge and uh, again you have to apply this hack to get it done okay uh, okay here is just one last thing well uh, remember we have to do the upper left and the lower middle those are the several allowed positions we can do and here is a easier way well we can specify the location and the rule of the location for the legend is one upper right and then two upper left and three lower left and four lower right so those are the four locations we can just number them to make our lives a little bit easier and for example if you do a location at the one and then that is the upper right so we have this legend and if you do the location at the four and then that is a lower right so we have this legend okay so this is just another trick we can do to customize the legends okay so that's it that's all for today and thank you for your time i will talk to you later this week